Welcome to the bearing world. Here's a bearing rare book for you. Real stuff. A bearing is an element used to support rotating machine parts, and the bearing makes many of the machines we use every day possible. Without bearings, we would constantly be replacing parts that wear out from friction. Objects roll more easily than they slide, as shown. The book and table top experiments illustrate the working principle of the bearing. Bearings reduce friction by providing smooth balls or rollers and smooth inner and outer surfaces for the balls to roll on. These balls or rollers carry the load, allowing the device to rotate smoothly. Bearings usually consist of inner and outer rings, rolling elements and cages. As well as seals. These are the bearing materials. This illustration shows common primary materials for bearings. This is the analysis of the advantages and disadvantages of three common heat treatment methods: Martens hardening, Binion hardening, and surface hardening. Comparison of thermal stability of modern silicic and bilinis hardened bearings. It can be seen from the figure that bilinis hardening has good thermal stability and is suitable for work at high temperatures. Modern silicic hardened bearings are more suitable for use in normal temperature environments. However, in practical applications. It is also necessary to consider the specific working conditions and requirements of the bearing. Ball bearings and roller bearings are common bearing types, and their series also have their own characteristics. After fully understanding the characteristics of each bearing, we can choose the appropriate bearing type according to the specific work requirements and conditions. As shown in the figure, it is a table of load carrying capacity of different rolling elements. As shown in the figure, it is a comparison chart of the relative limit speed of different rolling elements. The rolling elements are located in the middle of the inner and outer rings and are fixed by the cage. The main function of the cage is to separate and get the rolling elements. Wide range of application materials. This illustration shows the function of a bearing cage. The material of the bearing cage is generally metal and plastic. Common types are aluminum, nylon, steel, brass, and so on. There are also many types of cages. The illustrations show window cages in different materials. Cages made of different materials have different characteristics, and are suitable for different working environments and requirements. So it is necessary to follow up the specific conditions for selection. Finally, we can look at the last component of the bearing: the seal. The seal is equivalent to a protective cover. Its function is to prevent the leakage of lubricant in the bearing part and prevent the external dust or other harmful objects from invading the inside of the bearing. Bearing sealing methods can be divided into two types: contact seal and non-contact. These are some entry-level bearing knowledge explanations compiled by TBB for you. We have more than 20 years of experience in the field of bearings. If you have any questions about bearings or need technical support, please feel free to leave a message or email us. We will serve you wholeheartedly. Your bearing expert, TBB Bearing Provision.